Welcome back to Silent Hill 4, The Room. In the last episode, we got the key to Eileen's room, went in there, and unfortunately we were too late and they were the 20th victim. A young Walter Sullivan was also there, and Eileen said some very strange things. Said thank you to the kid, and also, have you found your mother? Or something to that effect. Who they've probably never met because Walter Sullivan was abandoned after they were born in my very room 30 years ago. So since then, the hole in the bathroom has been filled, so I can't go there anymore. And it looks like I have to try to get out this way, I guess. This is the laundry room. There was a weird face on the wall. And I used a succubus medallion card thing on the demon face. And that made this message appear and opened up all these things, ready to accept the placards that I've gathered all over the whole game so far. Sounds extra strange when I put it all together like that, huh? But uh, yeah, let's put the placards in. So this is the watchful eye. Mm, which one is that? Source. That's the yellow one. And that's temptation. Yes. The final one is chaos. Before I put that in, though, I actually want to show you something. A while ago, we got the Holy Scripture scrap, and it actually mentions these placards. Uh, let's see. Here we go. The third sign. And God said, return to the source. That's one of the placards. Through sin's temptation. Another one of the placards. Under the watchful eye. Another of one of them. Wander alone in the formless chaos. That's the fourth one. Only then will the four atonements be in alignment. So these placards are the four, not the four sins, but the four atonements. Oh, that's a very deep black hole. Should I take anything else with me? The only real thing that I'm missing, uh, weapon-wise, is just ten more rounds for the pistol? No, I'll be fine. The hole. Where will it lead to this time? Eileen. I wonder if she's okay. No, I'm pretty sure she's dead. Into the hole, yes. Yeah, the detectives during that conversation that I overheard when I was looking in Eileen's room, they they did say that Eileen had been taken to a certain hospital, but they said, like, there's it's unlikely that they'll survive. So I definitely wouldn't count on it. Walter? Is it not gonna let me go back? Oh, it is? Are they still there? Oh, uh, what the fuck is that? What did I just see in that room?
emergency room. Right, I'm in a hospital of some sort. What the fuck did I just see in that room? I... Okay, I first got there. Walter, the older Walter Sullivan, was behind a curtain um, deep in the stomach of somebody. Somebody wearing a very strange outfit. They didn't just look like an average person. They looked like... Uh, I don't know, a god, a princess, something. Um, and then it looked like they were about to kill me, so... Uh, Henry ran out of the room, and now when I go back in, there's... There's something that I didn't see back there at all in that cutscene. Some very tall humanoid creature that looks very disturbing. Ah... Uh, should I go back there and kill it? I guess. Um, I'm gonna do a safe state. I think I just accidentally selected safe state slot one instead of zero, but whatever, that's fine. Um, this would be a good case for using the revolver, probably, huh? What are you? Are you dead dead? I can't kick him anymore. Uh, can I use the ghost thing on him? I don't think they're a ghost. They seem rather fleshy. Okay, I think they're down down. Alright, they weren't that strong, thankfully. What are you? Is that a different version of the person we saw just a second ago on this table? I guess it probably is, because they're not on the table anymore. It looks very different, though. I, I wish I could get a closer view. Jesus Christ. I wonder if that was their mother. They're looking for their mother. Uh, it's a bloody operating table. That guy, what in God's name was he doing here? There's a strange human shaped object. Yeah, I noticed that. Oh, look how it's moving. There's a bone saw on the table. I don't know what I'm looking at, but they've been arranged in a sort of like these two things down here are legs, chest, couple arms, head, sort of, but what are they made out of those chunks? The operating table, there's a bloodstained cover on top of something. I don't even want to imagine what's under that cover. Okay. All sorts of medical things, but I wouldn't know what to do with any of them. That's a paper cutting knife. Is that a weapon? Originally made for cutting paper, it's hard to use as a weapon. Yeah, that is very short. Very sharp, but... Interesting, the charge-up time is extremely short. Look at it, just... Whoop, charged. Yeah. 
doesn't say anything about how much damage it does, right? Yeah. Like the others say powerful or something. This one just says hard to use. I'm probably going to ditch that at the first opportunity. I want to try to use it first, though. I'm going to leave it equipped for just a little bit. I'm curious if it's like a good amount of damage. Nurse's memo. I lost Eileen Galvin's hospital room key. She was a patient brought in with severe injuries. I wonder if I left it in one of the other hospital rooms. I really hope not. Uh, so this is the hospital where Eileen Galvin was brought. The detectives in that conversation that I overheard said it, the name of the hospital, but I don't remember it. I'm, I'm sure it's not that important. It wasn't Alcamilla or anything like that. Hmm. So I guess I need to find Eileen Galvin's key again. First I found the room key, now I need their hospital room key. Why did the hole take me here? Why does it want to take me to Eileen? Why Eileen? After they've already been a victim. And actually, why were they left alive? Why were they left alive? Aren't they supposed to all be killed? Uh, I mean, thinking back to Cynthia, they were still alive when I found them, but they died very shortly after. Hmm. Much of medical equipment and stuff. Lots of forms with the name St. Jerome's Hospital on them. Okay, St. Jerome's. St. Jerome's Hospital. That's not too far from my apartment. Lots of photos pinned up on the board. Could these be Eileen's pictures? Uh, yeah, definitely. I thought there was a door there. Oh, she's back to this room. It's gonna be interesting trying to kill those flying bugs with a box knife. Bug Hunter. What's a woman's handbag doing here? It must be Eileen's. Looks like it could cause... Wait, it's a weapon? Eileen only weapon. I, I'm going to be playing as Eileen. Looks like it could cause a little bit of damage. Emphasis on little, what a terrible weapon. Huh. Well, I guess Eileen is gonna be alive for at least a little while if we're gonna be playing as them. It's interesting that, with the, that they would sort of telegraph that. It's a baby's medical chart. Ah, oh, now I've got two. I should probably ditch one. Oh, 
Why does it show me the desk? So, like, it looks like it wants me to read it. The baby's medical chart. Hmm. Maybe... If I'm going to be playing as Eileen, maybe I come back through here as Eileen, and I can investigate this again. And get something different from it. Oh! I don't understand. What are they? Why are there multiples of them? I thought that was one specific monster person that came from that person that Walter was opening up. But there's more of them. Okay, well, they only took one shot to down. I think I shouldn't waste my ammo on them, especially since I don't seem to find any more revolver ammo ever so far. So... Should I try the box knife for now and <laughs> see how it is? <laughs> Let's see how much damage they do to me, huh? <laughs> Ew, what the f <laughs> What kind of a noise is that? That's more f funny and bizarre than scary. They sound like... What? Like they're burping, sort of? It's a very, very odd noise. I'm not really that scared of them anymore, after that. They look really terrifying, but... Huh. Yeah, I think I'll stick with the axe. It didn't seem to do terrible damage, but... Uh, I want a little bit better reach. Ampule! Ooh. They're giving me a lot of healing items. I get the feeling it might be a while till I can get out of here and get back to my apartment. Because I've been operating under the assumption, hey, I'll find a hole soon and just go heal, right? But, eh. I've got so many. Let me just preemptively use this. There we go. Heals you about like, I don't know, what was that, 40%? It's a bed with wheels. They must move patients with this. I wonder if Eileen is in this room. Is? Like in the other world, or...? The light is broken and lying on top of the operating table. Another healing item. I'm gonna run out of space real soon. Oh. There's a hole. Why so many healing items then? Maybe there's a boss fight coming up or something. Because, I mean, 
I, I've never known, or I've never mentioned this specifically, but I've certainly noticed it. Notice how we haven't had a boss fight? This game is, I'm pretty sure, almost over. It's, it's not that long of a game. And we haven't had a single boss fight, so if there is a boss fight, it must be just, like, at the end or something. It's a really big change over the previous Silent Hill games, 1 and 3 and even 2 as well. All of those have boss fights every hour or two. They're kind of, uh, they're kind of used to, like, punctuate the game, you know? Always working up to the next boss fight. Well, I guess I'll go heal, put away some of my healing items. Yeah, look at the last mark, the one for Eileen. Right down here. See how it's barely there? You can barely see it. It's faint, unlike the others. Maybe that's what Walter's doing at the hospital. Maybe they just simply messed up the kill. It's only half there. It's not finished. The job isn't finished, and they need to finish it. They need to kill Eileen. And they're not quite dead. Okay, I dropped everything but one medkit, and I also dropped the box cutter in the, the handbag. Got room for like four or five items now. Where should I go? To the left here? Or down here? Eh. Let's go this way. Oh. It's an elevator, but the door or button is broken and it's not responding. Oh, there's a little door over here. Maybe this is for the stairwell? Yeah. Wait, what? The stairwell just doesn't keep going up? Huh. Uh. Ghosts? Do I shoot wheelchairs? Not sure what I do to fight those. Maybe you don't fight them. I guess I'll go try. Oh yeah, they're ghosts. Okay. Oh wow. Just doors, 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 doors. Alright. Nightmare tunnel. Must be an elevator must be on another floor. Need to press the button on the right to call it. Probably for calling the elevator, should I press the button? Yes. Yeah. That's such a weird noise. Why do you sound so silly when you look so disturbing? What am I standing on? Looks like I'm standing on the top of an elevator. Everything's broken except for the open close button. <laughs> what? So there's no point in going in here? This elevator doesn't go anywhere. Okay, well, let's try the doors. It. What the hell? I can see legs coming out from the bottom of the cloth.
Are these all open? Oh, that's the same one. Saint Medall- Oh! This is another anti-ghost! Okay. Awesome. Well, I don't think I need to use that just now. I can pretty easily get away from these. They don't even seem to be particularly chasing me right now. Oh! Well, that happened. I reacted pretty fast, not fast enough. If it actually did go all the way down, it would have killed me, but it stopped right before it hit my head. <laughs> Holy shit. Let's do a save state, just in case. Wow. I love these rooms in the sense of I hate them. But man, each one is just more horrible than the last. There's a nice, soft afternoon light coming in from the window. Is time flowing differently here? Or is this some kind of light from heaven? That's where I got the Saint Medallion from, right? Light from heaven would be appropriate. Hmm, there's a noise. looking at me. What are you? What the fuck are you? Is that Eileen? I love that each one of these rooms is just something horrendous and different and none of them seem to be locked. It's just spend an hour going down a horrible tunnel that just gets worse and worse and worse oh it's sticky i can't move very fast you weird look like those chambers for babies. I don't know what they're called. This long thing. What the hell is it? Some kind of umbilical cord? It's very, very, very long. I wonder if the uh, superintendent's umbilical cord, which is the umbilical cord that um, came from Walter Sullivan's mother, I wonder if that's going to come into play. Am I going to have to go get it and do something with it? <sighs> Meat hooks? Fish hooks? Oh. Terrible smell. What's behind this cloth? It's 
wall must be to prevent suicides. Yeah, it's padded. It's a sterile room. Holy candle. Special candle with anti-spirit effects begins working shortly after being lit and placed down. Ah. Oh. Uh. Please tell me I can pick that back up. I didn't. I didn't even think I had anything to light it with. No. No. That's silly. Why couldn't you just blow it out and pick it up? Oh, what's my last save from? I'm gonna go back. I want to keep that. Okay. Let's be careful with the holy candle. They're really giving me a lot of healing items and anti-spirit things. They're really gearing up for something. It's making me nervous. Is that a new type of ammo? Oh, revolver bullets. Nice. I'm getting, I'm getting so much stuff. <gasps> Large diameter bullets for use in Richard's revolver. Reasonably powerful. I'm glad this one isn't possessed. What's at the end of this hallway, by the way? I haven't looked over there. Because I only get brief flashes of it, but I don't know what's down there. Hmm. Oh, hey, another golf club. I can't hold any more. No! Okay, so I'm going to have to shoot all my revolver bullets. I'll come back for it. There's a horrible smell coming from inside the broken glass. I see something fleshy in there. I can see someone on the other side of the wire net, but they're not moving. Is it a dead body? Glass is broken. Okay, well there's still a lot more doors left. So... I think I'm gonna run back to the hole. Oh, hey. I was just running back, and now that I've called the elevator down, or up? Up. Now that I've done that, it's open down here. Oh. There's bodies in the gears. It's locked. Okay, so I need a key for that. Okay. Got some more doors to do. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Can't forget the golf club. Four iron. <laughs> 